sponsorship of NSBRI has enabled me and my group to train a large number of graduate students and colleagues, and a, a number of them have gone on to get uh, proposals funded by NSBRI and uh, NIH and DARPA and other funding agencies. And we have had graduate fellowships, uh, postdoctoral fellowships. And these are wonderful programs. We've had really great uh, success in these programs because not only have they uh, did their PhD working for an SBRI, but they can follow up for two or three years uh, in fellowships and continue their research past their PhD once you uh, start doing some of these very interesting projects working for NASA, they'd like to continue it for the rest of their career. And I think one of the most important things that we have done is that we have brought to NASA and to the medical community a whole cadre of very well-trained individuals. Any industry, if it's going to any, any technology, if it's going to survive, has to have a steady supply of young people, motivated young people, well-trained young people. We're very pleased that the NSBRI could support our program. I thought ultrasound was really cool. I'd always had the space interest. And so between the two I combined, I said, oh, there's a lab that does ultrasound and has funding through the National Space Biomedical Research Institute, which is space. And so I interviewed here, and they accepted me as a grad student. And I got to work on projects as a grad student. and transitioned to a postdoc when I got the postdoctoral fellowship award. The first award postdoctoral fellowship, it goes, the announcement goes out. There's a, apparently about 50 or 60 applicants every year. We have to write a proposal. We have to find a mentor. And from there, they winnow it down and select four or five of us. And it's a two-year originally. And then you have an option for a third-year competitive renewal, which I was lucky, lucky enough to get. So I'm on my third year of the fellowship project. I've teamed up with the Pacific Science Center, and I've had a summer high school student every year working with me. They get to do some real hands-on lab experiments, where the first one said, this is the first time I haven't been able to use Google to be able to find out what I'm looking for. It's, it's real science. And so the fellowship has allowed me to be able to mentor these students, and it's also continuing funding support, so as I look for my next job, they see that, oh, she's been able to get her own sort of funding, and will hopefully be able to continue to get her own funding if we hire her. The great things about the fellowship program is they take us all, the, all down to Houston for this Bioastronautics Institute, and so we get to meet all the other fellows in our year, which is really cool because we get to see what other experiments are doing, what other problems they've had, what other successes they've had, and how they've been able to use the fellowship program to get the job that they want. And so we've developed this society of fellows. We have this newsletter so we can know other people in the fellowship program. And it really creates this community. So if I need some help, I can reach out and say, hey, have you ever applied to a job at this university? Or have you applied to a job to NASA? How do you get these jobs? Pretty much everything that's in NASA, but just kind of the younger generation getting to explore it together. The idea that I get to work with scientists, I get to work on space travel, it's kind of the final frontier. What's cooler than that? We went to the moon back in the 60s. Can we go to Mars? What's next? Is there life? All those major questions, fundamental questions that I'm really excited to get to explore as a scientist. You see so many labs that have really cool technologies that just fizzle out and you never see it actually influence somebody's life. And so to be able to actually say that I've had a part that's gotten to the clinic of research that influences somebody's life is a really great feeling and is very rewarding and of course inspires you to continue to do that. <laughs>